Hi, my name is Matt Hinkle with Box Alarm Training, and today we're going to talk about Bernoulli's Principle. Bernoulli's Principle is not exactly something that you typically hear about in a class for firefighters. So this is what the actual definition says. An increase in the speed of a fluid occurs simultaneously with a decrease in pressure. So before we get into this, I'm going to show you a really quick demonstration that might be pretty interesting to you. So what I'm about to do is take just a normal small trash bag. I'm going to take a breath, fill my lungs full of air, and try to fill this bag with the air that's inside of my lungs. So the first way to do it is take the bag and just take a lung full of air, blow it straight into this bag. And you're going to end up with about that much air. However much air that your lungs can hold, then that's how much air is going to be displaced. So the second way to do this is the way Bernoulli's principle describes, which is the velocity of the fluid causes a decrease in pressure. Well, we know from firefighting that fires move from areas of high pressure to low pressure. Well, air does this. When when you blow air into a structure, say it's through the nozzle or through a positive pressure fan or something like that, you're introducing a low pressure area that causes even more air to go into that area. So this is what it does. If I do the exact same thing, but I step away from the inlet, and blow air into that inlet from a distance, it's gonna draw more air into it. You get way more air into the back. So you may be able to win a bet at the firehouse doing this. So to me, that's a pretty interesting demonstration. It kind of shows that there are a lot of things that go on with pressurization inside of a structure that we can't see happening, but are actually happening. So increases in structural pressure that's inside the structure can cause fire, gases, smoke, those types of products to move to other areas of a structure because we know that fires move from areas of higher pressure to lower pressure. So why is this important? Basically, anytime that you use a nozzle or a positive pressure fan, you're using this principle. So if you're flowing water from an exterior position, you're not only flowing water, you're flowing air. And we've talked about this in the past. And you have to realize that that air, even though it may not feel like very much air to you, there can be way more air moving into the structure that's causing differences in pressure in that structure, which could be good or bad. So hopefully that demonstration just gives you a tool that you could use for training to help see, visually see what happens when pressurization occurs from a nozzle or from positive pressure. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also go to our website at www.boxalarmtraining.com and don't forget to visit us on Facebook at Box Alarm Training. If you have any questions or comments or things that you would like to see in future videos, write them below in the comments and we'll try to get to those when we can. Thanks for watching.